So hello guys, I'm going to show you how to tie a nice damselfly nymph and or streamer, whatever you think this is. And the reason why I'm tying this is I'm going to teach some guys uh, something about fly fishing. And I found out that the river where I'm going to do that, it has army fish. It's very, very good fish. It's a cousin to mush here so very hard fighting fish and very difficult to catch and the local guy told us that he can see fish but whatever he casts it just doesn't eat so my assumption is that damsel fly will work i'm going to start my fly with the 18 zero thread by semper flea nano silk and the first material is going to be marabou so i'm going to cut just pinch out like nice bunch of it like this and then i wet my fingers to help myself a little bit i'll go to the band of, of the hook here so this is too short i need a little bit more like so maybe one one and a half one and a half more uh, length of the hook because the longer the the tail the better it will uh, go through the current now what i like to do is just spin the th the marabou around the around the thread and i go around a bit it like this and this is the place where i will stop because I just need a little bit of this. The rest of it will be thorax part. So, I don't need to cut it flush, I just need to make bulk a little bit here, because this is the spot where I'm going to add my nymph skin. You will see in a second. So, for this material, it's just a second, flat body glass. The reason why I made this bulk here is because like if you put it around a thin hook it will fold and it will look ugly but if you uh, fold it around something thicker it will take the shape as it, it should have like nice shape so with not too tight wraps at the beginning and more tighter wraps as I advance forward I will secure this I don't want to cut it you can also pull here upwards so it will it will be centered yeah it's centered now what i need to do i need to create a dubbing loop and in a dubbing loop i'll put some of some of the pickle dubbing and cdc okay i'll go back with my thread so on one part of the dubbing loop i'll put uh, Pico dubbing, so this is it, and on and in between those two dubbing loop strands, I'll put CDC, so like so. I'll just need to make it a little bit shorter. As you can see, it's not a tight noodle; it's rather loose because I want to comb it out later, so it will be fleshy and buggy and long. I'll distribute these so you see feathers a little bit better first and then I will spin them okay okay this is it now after each wrap you want to pull those fibers back and downwards downwards so like so back and down okay this is more or less okay nice buggy legs i spin my bobbin around the thread because when i catch it later it will be completely secured it won't go out now because i failed 
to make a nice foundation here. I'll just add a little bit of dubbing here. So when I fold forward this body glass material, it will have a foundation where to lie on. And I will remove all those legs out of my way so I won't catch them with this material for in case. Okay, now when you are satisfied you can pull down but not too tight. You will see in a second why. Okay, I don't want to break or to cut this with this thin thread. It, it will easily cut into any material. So now, after I did one whip finish, I will cut this body glass, but I will stretch it and pull upwards like this. You can see the hook is working. So now you can't see it so well, it's already hidden. But what I like to do, I like to crisscross with my thread. I'll try to show it somehow. I like to cross it with my thread once or twice. So it will be really, really nicely secured. Now I will add just a short portion of dubbing, enough for like two or three turns around the hook. And I will whip finish with this. So my not will be hidden okay this is finished fly i'll just do final makeup like so you can cut those bottom legs if you like you don't need so many they will actually slow down your nymph when it sinks so come out these shiny fibers it will look much better underwater so this is it thank you very much for watching if you like this video uh, give it a like subscribe and share uh, thank you very much and see you again